Hello, James Hill and Alice Brown. Today's interesting video is not really a video, it's just a song. Um, this weekend we lost a rock and roll legend. Richard Penniman, more commonly known as Little Richard, passed away. He is largely known as uh, the father of rock and roll. He had a significant influence on many artists such as the Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, Bob Dylan, David Bowie, the list goes on. Uh, so as such, I think it's important to celebrate his music. And you may know one of his songs, Tutti Frutti, or more songs, but uh, there's another side to Little Richard uh, that I wanted to show you. Uh, he could sing. He could really sing. And I'm sure he was born with some ability to do this, but I know he practiced and worked at this for many, many years to become the singer he was. Um, he even admitted that he studied opera, and so, you know, you know that he did practice his craft. You know, this illustrates that many of the singers you hear on the radio, they didn't just stumble into their success. There's many, many years of practice that went into it. The song I'm going to share is called There Will Be Peace in the Valley, and it's a classic spiritual, and many of the grade four and five students I've been teaching have been learning spirituals. Uh, these are really important songs that uh, illustrate and talk about the struggle uh, of slaves in the United States, and it's often it's written from their point of view. Uh, so as these lyrics in this song relate to slavery, I'm sure they don't need any explanation. Uh, and I think it's an appropriate song to share to honor the life of little Richard and hope that he does truly rest in peace. Enjoy. 